All right, everyone, apologies that we're starting late, had some technical difficulties, but we're now about to start the 22-23 Karani's hobby. Got three boxes here. Let me get off picture and pictures so you can see. So let's not waste any time because we're already late, which is fun. Let's get into the random. So we have Andrew C with two spots, Brian H with one spot, Danny H with one spot, Michael J with one spot, and Pascal H with one spot. So, you know, we're going to start with the divisions. Let's get into random. You know what we got to do. Dice roll at time. Two dice. Let's get it. Four. That is going to be four on the randomizer. And now it's time for the list. Right, here we go. One, two, three, and four times. Southeast on the bottom, central on top. I'll zoom into this after after I've randomized the uh, the names of the people in the break. So here we go. Dice roller again, two times. It's gonna be twelve, the most it could be. Or two dice rather, sorry. Twelve times. Let's get it. There you go, 12 times, Brian H on top, Michael J on the bottom. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. All right, so we're gonna have Brian H with the Central, Andrew C with Northwest, Danny H with Southwest, Pascal H with Pacific, Andrew C with the Atlantic, and Michael J with the Southeast. All right, I'll leave that up for just one second. Everyone gets a chance to look and see their teams. And now we're gonna get into it. If at any point someone joins or needs to re-see their teams, divisions, just let me know. Here we go, best of luck everybody. Should be at least six autos in this break. Let's get a nice good rookie. Big Javen Ivy guy I am, so maybe a nice Jaden Ivy. Um. Whatever the Pistons are in is probably the best spot. <laughs> Sorry, Lakeside. Just going to have to get in next time. But we do have personals. Anything you want in the late night, we can get for you. I'll switch over to the late night overlay after this break. Actually, that's a good point. Andrew's got it. Completely forgot about Palo somehow. Don't know how I can do that. John Morant. That is going to be Jalen Williams. I know there's two Williams, so I wanted to make sure. Jalen Williams. Shaden Sharp. And, oh, first pack magic for sure. Jaden Ivey at a 25. Not bad at all. Jaden Ivey to 25. Got a nice big spacer there. Followed by... Kyrie, Luca. Let's get a number Luca today. And our first. Oh, that's Marjan Beauchamp for sure. Is that the back card? Is this gonna be an auto? Auto of Marjan Beauchamp in the first pack? No. It's gonna be backwards for a reason. I'm not sure, but definitely a cool card. I like Beauchamp. And then this one's back too. That is gonna be Ochai Agbaji for the Utah Jazz. You think so, Shaken? Oh, obviously, Shaken's a Pistons fan. I think Ivy is my favorite in the class. Doesn't matter, though, because Scotty's my favorite rookie of the recent years. Wendell Moore. Simone Fon Fontachio? Is that how you say that? Hopefully, maybe. Here we go, another Shaden Sharp there. Not bad. Uzmane Dieng. Jaden Ivey again. Not bad, not bad. This could be an auto. So I'm going to go like this. Come on, this should be an auto. L-I-A-J-G-D. Oh, is that Josh Giddy? Josh Giddy, please. On the auto? Josh Giddy auto. There we go. And 149. We take. That is a really, really nice looking card. 
Josh Giddy auto to 149. Very nice. Jalen Williams and my favorite rookie of this class, Jeremy Sohan. After this pack, there's a uh, six pack. So every three packs, I'm going to uh, try not to leak that back card there. I'm going to sleeve and top load catch up on that. So, Katie. Giannis, Jalen Brown, LeBron, numbered LeBron to 99. That's a cool one for sure. Not bad at all there. Shaden Sharp on the Phoenix. And Orange, Rook, Orange Rook, AJ Griffin. There we go. I believe he's at a 149. I believe. At a 75, even better. Half of what I thought. Not bad at all. I don't know why the second to last card is always backwards. Is it on auto? See, it's not on auto. Interesting. But anyway, Trey Young. And we're going to end it off with NBA champion Christian Braun. Um, Let me take a look for you. I don't believe so. I have not shunned chat. I'm looking, I'm looking. None of the three shade and sharps that we've pulled are, uh, <laughs> I'm back, I'm unshunning. Um, none of the shade and sharps so far have been numbered. Wait, I'm just going to catch up on sleeping and top loading real quick. I'm going to get right back into it because we're only a six through the break. I got you. I got you. I think it's usually a black refractor, but I'm not sure. You know, it's always tough with cronies with there being so many different products. What's a big hit and what isn't? How's everybody doing tonight? Anybody interested in some personals? I'll put up the late night after this. We are still in late night time. I just was worried about the group break first. Want to get that situated. So if anyone is looking to put in a personal, just please make sure it is off. Glad to hear it, throw bombs. It is off, you know, the usual late night. Or, you know, if you have any questions, feel free. I'll put it up after this. And just a second after I top load this giddy. We'll be right back into this. Like we never stopped. Ivy in the first pack was such a nice card to start. You go to Disneyland, right? Doesn't the MVP go to Zealand? Sweet. Look at me knowing stuff. Everyone goes? Okay. I didn't know that. It's it's the... Isn't it the Heisman that goes? Isn't college football? I think one person goes. We got a thick card here. Maybe a nice RPA. I'm going to pull from the back just in case it is an RPA. Benny Matherin started off. Spencer Dinwiddie. Another Marjan Bochamp? No way. Although I guess the last one was an auto, but they had me think it was. This one is also not an auto. Get me excited. Next up here, we're going to have a Jokic. That is Musa Diabate. One of my favorite names to say. Christian Coloco. Luca. And we're going to have here a Mark Williams at a 249. Timeless Treasures. It's a very nice looking card. <laughs> that is a 
That is a good name, Throw Bombs. All right, this one pack is also thick. So attempt number two at an RPA, maybe, hopefully. We do have another thick card, so guess we'll find out. Jaden Ivey, always gets a sleeve from me. I think he's awesome. It's going to be David Roddy, Shea Gillius Alexander, and oh, I know that guy. Is that Jovic? Is that Jovic? It is going to be Nikola Jovic. Please be an RPA. It's not. I keep predicting all these to be RPAs, and they're not. 66 of 149 from Plates and Patches. This kind of reminds me of... Uh, Rupee Hints is a good name, too. Out of 149. Kind of reminds me of a photogenic card. Next up here, we're going to have Jabari Smith. KD on the silver. And please be an auto. Please be an auto. We have Jalen Williams, but I think it's going to be that one that confuses me every time. And it is Jalen Williams. Last card of this pack is going to be, out of 149, AJ Griffin. So that's two numbered AJ Griffins in the first box. Not bad at all. Last pack of what's up, Greg? What's up? Last pack of box one. Should have an auto, I believe. My memory serves me correct. We should have an auto in this pack. Is that, what's his name? Is it Johnny? Yeah, Johnny Davis. Followed by Chet. I always forget Chet's in this rookie class because he doesn't play. Caleb Houston. Jalen Williams. Oh, nice. A number Jalen Williams. That's out of uh, 49. The purple from Prestige. Not bad. Benny Matherin. And, oh, yep, we have an auto. Front facing. Weird. Who's that? Who's that? Rookie autos. I am not. can't say I know who that is. That's going to be Trevlin Queen for the Pacers. At a 66. 66 of 66. Trevlin Queen for the Pacers. Not bad. Man, they're going to hit me with the same card twice on the Bochamp. And then the last card of box one is a Marquis Jason Tatum. Uh, the queue is currently wide open, so immediately after this group break, uh, we can get you in. Although I will let you know, DJ Larry, that we are still in the late night. I just ran a little behind in the group break, didn't have time to switch it over. So if, you ha if there's something you're looking at, uh, I would ask beforehand, and I'll put the late night on just after this. But yeah, right after this group break, you should be good. Although we have another one after this. G League MVP, that's pretty cool. Um, I cannot confirm or deny that until I see it, Hobo. It might be, it might not. We had so many group breaks today, that's the only thing I've done. But thank you. Um, thank you for posting that. I don't know why I was think forgetting that you couldn't do that. But yes, um, I would just, until I have a chance to look at it, I would ask whatever you're interested in buying just so I can confirm. There's nothing I hate more than uh, telling somebody we can't do their break. So, I'm sure hopefully I don't get fired. Yeah, I was really busy. I think we had, we've had more um, group breaks today I think then we've all only other than the national, but that was just because of the size of them. I think today was the most group breaks I've ever done in a day. Try don't mind. I like busy days. Got to look at a lot of fun cards, so never a complaint there. Certain group breaks never bad. Exactly, exactly. momentarily we'll get into this next box and then don't forget chat we do have another break at six that is going to be leaf pop century yeah no that even still that took an hour and 40 minutes to, to uh, sort and package today we had to start writing down the times of when we start and finish things so uh, yeah that one took an hour and 40 minutes Those are nice. We have those. Um, it definitely wasn't bad. Nothing like mind blowing, but it was certainly a good box overall. The giddy was really nice. 
So yeah, it was pretty solid. All right, here we go. Box number two, everyone. Let's get it. This is a nice change of pace for me because I've done so much Chronicles draft picks. It's, it's exciting to switch it up. Good luck indeed. Thank you, DJ Larry. All right, who are we going to start with? It's going to be a Mark Williams from Cronies. Ty Ty Washington. Jabari Smith. Not a bad one there. That's going to be an Uzmain Dieng. That is going to be numbered 89 of 99. That's not bad at all. Jalen Williams. And this should be numbered. I think. I don't know if it's refractor or the orange. I can never tell with Phoenix until I flip it over. At a 75, numbered 1. So it should be the orange. The outside is what, what stays silver. But yeah, definitely a nice one. Jabari Smith is a bucket. 1 of 75. And we're going to have here, I'll just pull it from the back because the cards aren't backwards that way. Walker Kessler on the marquee, not a bad one there. And LeBron. All right, we take. Solid first pack there. Man, this pack is fighting me. It's in shambles. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the base on this is the pinnacle is black because this is the second black one. They're definitely not one of ones. Jersey match for a soft line. Big eBay 101. Double down on the eBay 101s. Ant Man. Another LeBron. Always like to see LeBron. Very nice. And LeBron again. All right. Numbered to 99. LeBron from Timeless Treasures. They made that card so thick for no reason. But we take it. Palo. Finally got a Palo. And Jalen Williams again. I love Jalen Williams, so I'm happy that we're pulling a lot of him. This is red. I'm going to guess this is the 149. Where did we? There we go. 21 to 149. Jalen Williams. Not bad at all. Last two cards are going to be LaMelo and Malachi Branham. For which card? Throw bombs. Gotcha. Shocker. I'm out of penny sleeves. Be right back. That one's ripped. One second. Good to know, throw bombs. As uh, the semester starts in six days, so I'll be I'll be there a lot. So it's good to know I'll be safe from uh, goblins. But yeah, we got like four numbered cards in that pack. That was ridiculous. At the library, you almost got a scribe. Interesting. Nobody's safe. All right, just got to topple LeBron real quick, and then we're going to get back into this break. Obviously, we love the good rookies, but personally, I'm not complaining with the LeBron hits. I love LeBron. Keep it going. Okay. Let's get it. Tatum. That is going to be Christian Braun, who I believe was first-team All-Rookie. 
Jalen Duran. A.J. Griffin, that's the third numbered A.J. Griffin out of 149 there. Spacer number two. Followed by Giannis on one of my favorite inserts in the set. Jabari Smith, not bad, even if it's a base. LaRavia, you're not fooling me this time. And Nikola Jokic, the marquee. Did we get a numbered marquee this time? Well, I guess I'm going to do it this way. I'll go through because it's already been shown. At a 75, Ochai Agbaji. 11 to 75. Not a bad numbered rook there. Couldn't really hide that one, so I might as well just show it off right out the gate. Next up, we got Paolo. Jaden Ivey. Jordan Goodwin. Let's get a rated rook. Jaden Ivey again, 147 of 149. Also an incredibly thick card. KD. And, oh, please be an auto. Please be an auto. It is not, but it's a refractor of that insert I said I liked. This is Dynagon? Is that what it's called? Dynagon? Isn't that like the thing from Harry Potter? Diagon Alley, that's what it is. And then Mark Williams, the Hornets. Is uh, anybody know if Kenny Lofton is in here? <laughs> is it really Tiny Clans? That's crazy. Keegan Murray, not a bad one there. Finally got a nice Cade. We take, although I forgot. Is he... Yeah, Kate is not a rookie. I always forget that. Uzman Dien. I get this. And Palo at a 75. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not bad. Numbered Palo. It's about time. Steph Curry. And this should be an auto. It is. Simone Font Fontachio. I think I'm saying that right. 8 of 10. Low numbered rook there. Not bad. Not bad. And our last two cards missed back and we Paolo and Johnny Davis. Not bad and not bad. It's a good pack for the Paolo cards. <clears throat> 102 in Minnesota. You gotta be kidding me. For real, shaken. I'm more optimistic for um, the Pistons than any other Detroit sports team in the next couple of years, I would say. Yes, PG. Exactly. I will do that. Jalen Duran, Jalen Williams, Keegan Murray, not bad. Keegan Murray, better. And is this our second auto? I'm not sure. We're going to find out. Yes, it is. Dalen Terry, hometown heroes at a 99. Not bad, not bad. Dalen Terry. Last two cards in this pack and the box. Me Uzman Dieng and Ochai Agbaji. You can just catch up on sleeving and top loading. I would say in the... I don't know. Now that I think about that, I, hes I hesitated a little bit before I was going to say it. And now I'm realizing I probably... I think, I think the Pistons are going to have a longer span of success... If that makes sense. Like, I think, I definitely think the Lions, they're going to be better quicker. But I think, I think the Pistons are going to have a longer run of being good. If that makes sense. Love the numbered Ivy. That's sick.
Oh, for sure, shaking. I'm finally starting to get more into the NBA. I used to just be a college basketball guy, but I'm a huge Ivy fan, so I'm now rooting. Not rooting, because I decided I want to be a Raptors fan, because I like Scotty Barnes a lot. Also, my dad and I went to a Raptors-Lakers game solely to see LeBron play, and him and Anthony Davis sat out for load management, and so I decided I wanted to root for the Raptors instead. So, also, I'm not a fan of like any local teams, and I should probably change that so I actually have like local games to look forward to seeing. Rather than the one random Flyer Sabres game that happens on like a Tuesday in February. Flyer Sabres, that is. Oh, for sure. I'll definitely go to a few. I I went to like Can't beat it, he says. I um so funny i have so many i've made so many friends like at the end of the semester who would love to go to sabers games my dad's a season or my stepdad's a season ticket holder and if the games don't sell out within like 12 hours of he'll usually give them to me one second i'll grab sleeves um. <clears throat> and i i remember there were two games and i could not find a single person to go with so i went to two sabers games by myself this semester but, yeah, so I'm definitely going to go to more now that I actually have people who will go with me. Anyway, last box of the break. Yeah, I love... Uh, I know it used to be called Club Something with the really big TV. I know they changed it. What's that place called? With a giant, giant TV. You know what I'm talking about. It's like right next to the stadium. Hold on, I need water. <clears throat> <clears throat> My God. I don't know what it is, but like the second I walk into the... Uh... What are you shaking? You know, I have been to two Red Wing Sabres games, so... Malachi Branham, Ochai, Egbaji. When you sell that VHS that I pulled for like, um, I don't know what that means. Southern Tier. Okay, I had a feeling that's what it was, but I wasn't sure. AJ Griffin, Ochai, Egbaji again. Spacer number one of the box, followed by Nikola Jovic. Finally got a Prism card, Orlando Robinson. And... Don't think I've seen his name yet. That's going to be Tari Eason. I've seen Pearl Street looks really nice. I've been meaning to go there. It's on my list of places I want to try. 14 to 75, Ochai Agbaji for the Jazz. Although I will be honest, there is some damage to this card in the top left corner. Came out of the pack like that. Just wanted to, Just want to let you know. All right, that'd be sweet. Are they? I'd go for sure. I need some money first. Been spending a lot lately. Summer's over though, so. Now I gotta get into doing schoolwork and not leaving my house. Giannis. David Roddy. It's gonna be Shade and Sharp. And. No way. No way. Kevin Garnett Auto? You've got to be kidding me. At a 99 KG Kevin Garnett Hall of Fame autographs. That's so sick. That is so cool. I love it. Sick. It's got a very unique signature, but you know what? I'll take it. Followed by Jake LaRavia and LeBron, who always gets a sleeve from me. Yeah, I can't say if I didn't see his, uh, him on the card, I wouldn't be able to be like, oh, that's definitely a Kevin Garnett auto. Anyway, it's a sick one for sure. Trey Young, Jeremy Sohan, my guy. 
Jeremy Sohan again. Out of 249, Johnny Davis, 17 and 249. Limited cards are so thick every time. Benny Matherin. Shaden Sharp is a refractor. Finally, and I got a Keegan Murgy, but I, as I can't speak at all, I'm sorry. Jaden Ivy, 70 and 99. That's one of the nicest looking cards we pulled. And that's going to be a Keegan Murray. Not bad, not bad. Let me catch up on sleeping and top loading real quick. Love the Jaden Ivy. I also like how like uncommon it is for them to wear that jersey, and yet he's in that jersey in like every single picture we've pulled. Um, I want to get one. What do you think, Shaken? Should I get this green Jaden Ivy jersey? I need a new basketball jersey. I've been cutting down on mine. Got a lot of jerseys. I'm getting rid of a lot of old ones. Don't fit so well. I'm down to... Let's see, who do I have? I haven't got a new one in a while, at least. I got a Kyle Lowry Raptors jersey. That one might have to get retired. I had a lot of love my freshman year of college. Um, I got a Biggie Smalls jersey, which is cool. For the... Uh, uh, for the Nets, that's what I'm trying to say. Biggie Smalls Nets jersey, and then I got a LeBron and Jordan, but I'm a little too big for the Jordan jersey. That or I don't know. Do I want to get a Grady Dick Raptors jersey, or is that going to be the jersey that everybody on Earth gets? Is that going to be the next uh, Vince Car? Oh, I have a Vince Carter jersey too. You have to wear it, I'm saving it for the season. Oh, you know he was a center. Let's be honest. He's the most dominant big man since Shaq. And it's yellow, too. I don't know why a Nets jersey is yellow, but it's cool. One of my favorites. Those put back seem thick. Let's finally get an RPA. I've been talking about them all break. Anyway, we got three packs left. I thought about getting something really weird for my next jersey now that I'm like actually following. So, my two to narrow it down would be a Luke May, Drake May's brother, in a UNC jersey. And uh, Dyson Daniels. I haven't got any cards of him yet in the break. Or a uh, Kenneth Lofton, Louisiana Tech jersey. Sorry, Eason. Oh, this could be nice. This is an auto. I hope it is. It's not, but that is a really nice pattern there. 23 of 25. That is such a nice pattern there. <laughs> really cool. Picture probably doesn't do it justice. Um, I'm familiar. I know it's an XFL jersey. I, I, I vaguely. I don't know who the actual player is. No, Luke did play. He hasn't been on the team in years. He was on the national championship team in 2017. He graduated, I think, like two or three years ago. Chet. And there we go, another Jaden Ivy should be numbered. I hope it is. It is at a 99. It's like the third or fourth numbered Ivy. We love it. Also, that's a good Ivy jersey. Ivy has so many good jerseys. Rod Smart, good and all. I'll do some research. Not a bad one there. It's going to be Jaden Hardy. Oops. That's why we have a Met. And that's going to be Steph Curry. Two packs left. I was also thinking, um, has anybody here seen Blue Mountain State? I want to get a Thad Castle Blue Mountain State jersey. I feel like that, I have never seen one. I feel like that's an underrated choice. <laughs> Lori Markinen. Jabari Smith, top three rookie in the class in my opinion, followed by Chet. Benny Matherin. Scotty, my guy, new favorite player. And this should be the other auto. The 25. No way. What? What? Danny Green. UNC legend. For the Tar Heels. Under the lights. Danny Green. 21 of 25. Was not expecting that auto at all. Central's eating. That's reassuring because I don't know who has who's uh, in what division. LeBron and a Coloco. 
one pack left. And we're going to have here to end it off, KD. That is Jalen Williams. Jaden Ivey. And Kennedy Chandler to 149 on the Timeless Treasures. These remind me of National Treasures. I bet that's deliberate. Jeremy Sohan, Marjan Bochamp, Palo. I'll flip it over so we can see him. Keegan Murray and Palo. Two good rookies to end it off for sure. Not bad at all. All right, so I'm going to finish leaving and top loading.